Podcasts are the thing now. Almost all of the big creators have a podcast to connect with their audience on a different level. Emma Chamberlain's podcast, you have Shane Dawson's podcast, you have Steve-O on his wild ride, and you have creators that have their own channels but come together to create their own podcast, for example, the editing podcast with Hayden and Jordan. I think the reason why video podcasts are so popular right now is that it just creates this off the cuff, very lighthearted conversation that you're having with a creator that's not scripted. Maybe there's an outline, but it's just an open discussion. And I think that that's something that YouTube craves right now, hence why there are so many video podcasts. So video podcasts are becoming popular, but it actually is hard to make those podcasts successful. Unless you already have a huge, you know, celebrity following, then it's quite easy. However, if you're just starting out, the key to getting people to subscribe and watch your full length videos are creating clips or shorts or reels that help boost engagement and get people to subscribe and watch the main channel. If you're a video editor, you've probably been tasked to edit a podcast at some point and editing video podcasts are becoming easier and easier. If you use Riverside to record your video podcast, there's this new feature where you can download all the video tracks and the audio track as a synced Premiere Pro project to start from and edit fully in Premiere Pro. And if you haven't yet, be sure to watch my other video where I show you how to create creative split screen looks inside of Premiere Pro. I'll put a link just down below. However, if you don't edit with Premiere Pro, Riverside did give their new built-in editor a new facelift, which we will dive into later. One podcast that I listen to is called The Pants Pod. And recently they moved from audio only to creating a YouTube channel to have video podcasts. Now they're just building up the YouTube channel now so they don't have a lot of subscribers, but I think they could grow even faster if they start doing shorts of their full length video podcast. So let's talk about the key elements that makes a short successful. A, it must be in a vertical aspect ratio and that means that the videos inside of that vertical aspect ratio are scaled up into the full frame. It's not, you know, the 16 by nine in the vertical sequence. It just doesn't look good. It must be catchy, a little bit of fun in there, maybe emotional. If it's not emotional, educational is important. You should have a text overlay on top too that kind of summarizes what the video is about and some fun animating captions. And the good news is Riverside actually makes the process of making shorts really easy with their new magic clip features. So let's show you how it works. Here for my studio, I'm going to click on upload and upload their full podcast. Now this is going to take a few minutes to upload and process. And once done, you can click on the video and there are a few different ways that you can edit it. You can generate magic clips with their AI. You can have AI generate a full episode for you, or you can start from scratch with their editor. Also, one other really cool thing that you can do here is you can click on generate show notes, which will give you basically a summary of the episode and it will give you time-coded chapters that you can copy and paste in your YouTube's description box. Now I went to go check out the Pants Pod description box and they didn't have any YouTube chapters or any summary to help with their SEO. So I definitely think using the Generate Show Notes will help them just quickly put that together minimal work needed and just copy and paste it in the YouTube description box and it will definitely help. It's not like people don't watch your podcast if you don't have time coded chapters, but it just definitely helps the viewer because they're like, oh, this is what's ahead and maybe I can go back and rewatch it or skip ahead or go back. It's just, it's just a nice viewer etiquette. In this case, because this episode is already fully edited, I'm just going to click on magic clips. It also removes any awkward silences and it generates captions for you. And it does all of this in just a couple minutes. And by the way, I'm Kelsey. If you wanna get better at video editing in general, my friend, you are in the right place here on Premiere Gal. We post weekly tutorials to help you become a better creator or editor. And we just launched a new update of the Premiere Gal Toolkit 3.0. We launched a YouTube channel that has support tutorials there on how to install it. It now has over 1500 different elements packed into this panel and it's really easy to use. Over 2000 of you are using the toolkit right now and loving it. So if you're interested in it, I've just dropped a link just down below. Our magic clips are done now. You can see each clip is given a topic, so you can click and watch through those clips to see which one you wanna share. And usually there are one or two that are kind of so-so that need a bit of work. So I think the advantages of being a producer could be fun. So let's click on this and let's edit it. I think we should get into production because this actor lifestyle is a nightmare. 
Yeah, Acton's kind of for the birds. On the left here, you can see the transcript. And the crossed out bit is the cut out material already. And the white pure text is what is visible in the timeline. You can also see that it's in a nine by 16 vertical aspect ratio. It has captions on it, but we need to fix the layout here to fill. So that way it fills up the whole screen because we just don't want that landscape in the vertical. Please don't do it. It just drives me crazy when I see it. I'm like, why don't you just zoom in? <laughs> anyway, now we need to do a little bit more tweaking to the transcript. So you'll notice here in the transcript that there's single and double dots. The single dot represents a pause less than one second and the double dot is more than one second. I'm gonna leave the ones in that are less than one second. I think that's natural, but if you wanna remove the ones that are more than one second, you can just click on it and delete sitting around waiting for a job. Right. Producers can just go job to job. And if there's anything else that you want to trim out manually, I just recommend zooming into the timeline so it's bigger, moving your playhead to the point you want to cut, and then click split. And then you can delete that little clip excess that you want to remove from your timeline. And it's a magnetic timeline, so everything just comes back together. This actor lifestyle is a nightmare. Yeah, Acton's kind of for the birds. So let's customize the captions. Let's update the background color. We can also change the fill color here as well. And in terms of color, you can also copy and paste your own hex code if you have your own color brand that you want to follow. Very easy to do. And we can actually just click here on the captions and bring them down in position so that way it's not too high. But remember, you don't want it to get cut off by the social media UI. At the end but of the day, when you're the producer, you get all the bells and whistles. At the end want. of the day, when you're an actor, you're sitting around waiting for a job. Right. Producers can just go job to job. Also, what's new is text overlays in Riverside. So I always think it's great when you have a text summary at the top that kind of details what that clip is about. So in this case, I thought it would be good to do actors versus producers. So we can choose a style and we can reposition it and then we can extend it in the timeline so that way the text is there throughout the entire clip. I think we should get into production because this actor lifestyle is a nightmare. Yeah, acting's kind of for the birds. Producers, well, the, the, you know, the art of acting is great. Like that's sure, so much but fun. Like at the end but of the day, when you're the producer, you get all the bells and whistles. At the end want. of the day, when you're an actor, you're sitting around waiting for a job. Right. Producers can just go job to job and just keep collecting yep. props. Yes. You know? And now we can export and download it to publish on YouTube Shorts or Instagram Reels. I love these shorts. I think I'm just gonna send it over to the Pants Pod. Maybe they'll see it, maybe they won't, maybe they'll like to upload it. You know, I think I'm gonna write right now to Kate and Leisha's managers right now to see if they'd be interested in actually using Riverside to, you know, make the short creation process easier because I checked out their Instagram. They're using like the captions app and the captions just aren't that easy to read. I think following this style and this layout that I've created for them in Riverside would actually help them get a boost. And even better, I, I think Arwen should be recording their podcast with Riverside. So you can hook up your cameras to the laptop. Riverside can record it in 4K and just synchronize everything together. And you can use the Riverside editor to just create these clips for you. It's gonna be super easy. And if you're watching this and you're like, hey, I wanna try out Riverside, you can use my link below. It's my affiliate link. When you use that, I get a cut of each sale that is purchased. It helps support the channel. And you can use my discount code GAL15 to get 15% off your subscription to Riverside. So I really hope that you guys found this useful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe. And if you wanna learn more about podcast editing tips, you can just click right over here. And don't forget to click over here to subscribe if you haven't and check out our Discord as well. That's all for today's video. And as always, keep creating better video with Gal. See you next time. Bye. Ooh.